Hi guys, today I'm going to do a makeup look for you guys today. I don't like doing these too much often because I'm not that good at explaining what I'm doing. I just do it and that's what comes out. So, let's just get started. I'm going to moisturize my face because there's cleanse there. The Equate Compared to Olay Moisturizer. Putting some on the back of my hand. And then I mix my primer in with it. I prefer doing it that way. I use a coverall primer by one while the first time I'm ever using it, so I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know, but it's a cream consistency for my felt and my haul. So I'm just gonna take very little. And I'm just gonna that on the back of my hand a little bit, mix it together, and I'm just gonna put this on my face. Now my hair I gotta be careful with because when it's wet it kinda still bleeds. So we're just gonna have to be careful. Uh, I don't want to be blue, blue smurf on my face. I'm also going to apply a little bit to my eyelids, just kind of help the eye primer and everything. Oh. Then while I wait for that to set, I'm going to go in with my eye products. So I'm taking Please. the e.l.f. eyelid primer and put this all over my lashes. Well, our area, not the lashes. I'm tired, I apologize. Hey. And then I'm taking my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, which I love. Has for a little bit. I need to get a new one. Taking an angled brush like this, and I'm dipping it in Sex Presso, which is a dark, dark, dark blackish brown color. It's so pretty. I'm putting this on the outer part of my eye. Dark, dark. My eyes are watering. So I'm going to take this one. I'm just put this on the outer part of my eye on this side. I'm kind of bringing the crease a little bit, but not too much. Okay. And then we're taking this brush right here, which is kind of the same as the other one, but it's a lot more less dense and I'm gonna take honey pot put that in the middle of my lid not the outer but the middle so right here I'm taking the same brush, you're gonna put Sex Presto a little bit more in this crease right here. Taking this and putting honey pot again. And kind of blending the two colors together. Then taking this palette I got from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna take this very light pink color right here. And I'll swatch it for you guys if you can't find this palette. Just a very light baby pink. Any color like this will do. You don't have to have the exact one. And I'm taking this little eyeliner brush. And I'm going to put this in the inner part of my eye. Then I'm just going to wipe this brush off. On a makeup remover wipe and then just blend the color, all the colors together.
Now I'm going to take my Smashbox x rated mascara and put this on my lashes. Taking my Elf Waterproof Mascara, I'm going to put this on top to make sure it's waterproof. Take this little eyeliner brush again, that looks like this. I'm going to go in this palette and I'm going to pick a random color, probably pick the glitter. Let's do the glitter. I'm just going to put this on my eye. Put it on top of Sex Presto, a little bit more shine. Uh, it's totally optional, you don't have to do that. And then I'm taking this dark gray color from this palette right here and putting this underneath my eye. Right there. It's dark gray. It's kind of deepen everything up. Ow. Then if you get a shine on your eye, it's fine, just blink it out. I close my eyes for a few seconds and I open them and sometimes the eyeshadow falls right here, can you guys see? Just falls right in there, so you're fine. If it's eyeliner, on the other hand, that burns. I'm taking my concealer by the Amazon palette. Let's put this underneath my eyes using my finger. Let's kind of go under everything. Now I'm taking my foundation. This is one mild coverall. I never used this before. I'm just going to apply it on the back of my hand. Very little amount. This isn't fair. Take a beauty blender. And just do a very thin layer. Now if you like full coverage foundation, feel free to do a heavier layer. But to wear I don't really like full coverage or anything. I'm going to do very light a layer. <coughs> I'm going to go down my neck to make sure everything blends evenly. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. powder and using the sponge inside, I'm going to tap on powder. And I like this foundation because it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin so I really do like it. Most foundations I use feel like I'm wearing a mask. This does not, so that's amazing. Yes, I saw some lip stain on my lips. You guys could tell that. That's what that is. And then I'm going to use my Hard Candy Blush and Honeymoon. Only blush I will use. It's not too dark for my skin or too bright. Just want to brush around. I don't have any access. And then I'm gonna pull my hair back and I'm gonna do a lip. So I'm gonna use the LA Colors Matte Purple Lip.
I wish you guys could see my daughter right now. She's been making me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna take a makeup remover wipe and just remove anything on my hand. And I'm gonna take some dry shampoo. I'm using the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo on my hair. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day.